And the court has ruled that the Internal Affairs Unit of the National Police Service can carry on with investigating four officers from the disbanded Special Service Unit of the Directorate of Criminal Investigations. Now, the four had challenged the IAU's investigation into their conduct and also argued that the unit could not prosecute them. A senior principal magistrate, Diana Mochache, ruled that the IAU can go ahead with the investigation and after that decide whether to handle it internally or otherwise. Mochache said the argument by the respondents that the issue was to be resolved internally was incorrect. She, however, said that the IAU cannot prosecute the four officers. She said the IAU can carry on with the matter as long as the Independent Policing Oversight Authority, or IPOA, has not taken over the matter. She ruled that there was no proof that the case was politically instigated and that the IAU can investigate and pass their findings to the Inspector General of Police. However, the magistrate barred the IAU from sourcing any information from the phones of the respondents without a court order and that it will be considered a violation were it to happen. The four were given two days to prepare responses on why they should not be investigated by the IAU. The four officers, uh, through their advocates, will appeal the ruling at the High Court. The detectives were arrested over the kidnapping and disappearance of two Indian nationals and a Kenyan. And we have sought leave to appeal, and we shall be moving to the court, to the High Court by close of business today once we get the certified copy of the ruling because this is not the proper interpretation of the law. But we respect the decision, that ruling by the court. We shall be before this court on Friday at 11 a.m. to argue that application. But meanwhile, before that, we shall be moving to, to the High Court today, and therefore by tomorrow we shall know whether the High Court has agreed with us or if the High Court has not agreed with us, we have full instructions to move to the Court of Appeal and to the Supreme Court because this to us, our clients feel, is political witch hunt, is purely malicious. They are being targeted because of politics and we will defend uh, our clients to the hill.